Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the former White House press secretary for the Trump administration, officially announcing her candidacy for governor of Arkansas this morning. She joins Attorney General Leslie Rutledge and Lieutenant Governor Tim Griffin in that race for the Republican nomination. 5 News reporter Veronica Ortega has more. So today, I announce my candidacy for governor of Arkansas and ask for your prayers and your support. News of Sarah Huckabee Sanders running for governor doesn't come as a surprise to many in Arkansas. Political experts say she does come into the race as the front runner. She has got the name recognition that far exceeds Attorney General Rutledge and Lieutenant Governor Griffin. She has got a national network to play off of because of um, her time in the White House. Lieutenant Governor Tim Griffin is not intimidated, noting his military service and experience. I am ready on day one. I won't need any training wheels. I am more qualified than anybody else in this race or considering this race. Attorney General Leslie Rutledge, also a seasoned politician, says she's tired of Arkansas coming in 46th place. Whether it's in economic opportunities for everyone, educational opportunities for our school children, manufacturing, lowering taxes, we want to make Arkansas first. Griffin says Sanders made a mistake right off the bat in her campaign announcement video posted to YouTube. I will prohibit sanctuary cities and cut off funding for cities that deliberately violate immigration laws. Sanctuary cities were banned by the state legislature in 2019, something Griffin was quick to point out. It's just an example of she's not ready. She didn't know that clearly or she wouldn't have put that in there. Meanwhile, Rutledge is banking on what she calls a proven record of accomplishments. She did a beautiful job answering questions behind the podium, but I've been making decisions behind the desk for the last six years on behalf of millions of Arkansans. Even with challengers in her path, Sanders is branding herself a fighter, something political experts are taking notice of. And although it's early in the race, they say it will be a slugfest. We'll see if uh, Attorney General Rutledge and Lieutenant Governor Griffin can maybe put a few chinks in that armor and uh, make that race even more competitive. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Veronica Ortega, 5 News. Rumors have been swirling for months that State Senator Jim Hendren will also be running for governor. He told 5 News in a statement that says, in part, I still see a need for a candidate to represent common sense, reasonableness, and civility. I'll be deciding soon if I'll attempt to be that candidate and what my campaign to represent those in the middle would look like. Now, the Democratic Party of Arkansas has not put forth a candidate yet, yet, but in a statement said the Democratic Party of Arkansas has been in talks with several enthusiastic candidates.